Panel design can be very easily managed in E3 Wireworks. The schematic symbols and panel symbols are automatically kept linked with each other. With the click of a button, you can navigate to this contactor in the panel and similarly jump to the disconnect in the schematic. Let's add another rung of motor control by copy-pasting the previous one. All the devices that need to be placed in the panel are easily managed in this panel and place tab, which I like to refer to as a to-do list. You can just drag and drop the devices in the desired locations. And as you're placing these devices, E3 is guiding you by showing you these logic lines referenced from the schematics to optimize the panel design. In addition to that, E3 is constantly doing quality checks. By not letting you place this contactor on the wrong rail, for example, E3 does not restrict you to making the schematics first. You can add a device directly in the panel, like the circuit breaker from our library. These are now available to be placed in the schematic at any time. There are additional tools like the panel auto connect that you can use to automatically route your panel connections through these ducts via the shortest connection path while keeping track of space in the ducts as well. If you like the idea of working in a 3D environment, you can even design your panels in 3D. And to top it all, giving you detailed reports to build your panels from with the click of a button. Panel symbols and schematic symbols are just different views of the same components in E3. Automatically keeping all the aspects of the design associated goes a long way in reducing the overall build times and errors.